Hello everyone, Mikey there, Panzernator here with a World of Warships replay here for you. In the Ishizuki, we, uh, each team has a carrier, only two battleships per side, which is quite interesting. And man, oh man, do they have destroyers. But not to worry, we are the Ishizuki. We have a great fire chance, we have great high explosive shells. So we will be perfectly fine uh, dealing with those destroyers, especially since, well, we're probably going to keep the HE loaded anyway, because that's what the Ishizuki does. And uh, all good stuff there. So, of course, as is tradition, we're going to go with our team to Area A. This is the map called Straight. Um, I don't know. I dislike this map, but I don't dislike it enough to dislike it, if that makes sense. I mean, it's better than, uh, better than Tears of the Desert at high tier, that's for sure. But anyhow, uh, do we have a plan? No, we don't have a plan. We never have a plan. This is a low tier game. Plans are overrated. Probably not. You probably should plan anyway. Don't listen to me. But do listen to me. Because, well... The sound of my people is the... I love the horn in the game. The horn is one of my most favorite, but m most favorite but least impactful features that has ever been added to World of Warships. Just kind of looking at my ship, checking out the little captain's walk at the back. Um, a, little, a little weird stuff. I like this. The secondary guns are cool. I like the casemates and all that. It's a shame they're not as practical as you would expect, but anyhow, not everyone can be the Bismarck. And, uh, oh, oh, look, our first catch of the day. Yeah, the only concern about this game is, oh, look, yeah, we're firing at Clemson. Not the Ubari. Come on, game. You should know better than that. And nothing hit him. Like, what is going on? Like, that's just complete BS. Un Quite unfortunate indeed. But, you know what, you just load up the next salvo and you try, try again. And uh, I'm telling the team, hey, kill the destroyers because destroyers are evil. And they will murder you and your entire family and all of your crew. And they won't feel bad about it because they're little and they have like Napoleon Syndrome but for ships. So, there we go. And uh, Torpedo, and how are you not dead? Man, oh man. Man, that, that, I, I do think that uh, Clemson should be dead, but for now, we will shoot at the Phoenix. This would maybe be a kill shot. Well, one, if I aimed better, and two, if we used armor piercing, but 5,000 damage in a fire set in one salvo is nothing to be ashamed of. And we got a little boop going. You can tell the Phoenix was doing his horn from the little uh, extra, so that from the extra stuff coming out of smokestack. And uh, we're gonna, gonna shoot at him again. Try and set him on fire. Do all these wonderful things in the name of our glorious emperor. And uh, I don't know which. We hit both of them. Did damage to both of them. Set one on fire. Probably the phoenix. Maybe not. Is our da our damage is ticking up? You see, we need indicators whenever you do damage or whenever you you have um, damage to a ship like the fire or flooding. Like just how the numbers, the damage numbers pop off once your shells land. You need like the little like, you know, few hundred here, few hundred here, few hundred here. And all I'm saying is, what is up with that? Uh, see a nerd. And Arkuma, like, dude, pay attention. Arkuma should not be dead. He just completely got ambushed. I don't even think he was shooting at the Clemson that was right next to him. He should have been. And I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to club ride. Because, well, first of all, you see these torpedo bombers coming in? Uh, good, because I don't. I clearly do not see them whenever I'm coming in the game. Um, I'm trying to turn around. I know it's any second now the Phoenix is going to die. And, well, this might be it. And I'm like, where the hell are torpedoes coming from, from off the map? Of course, it is aviation. And someone else takes care of the Phoenix, and see a torps. Yeah, this is uh, abusing the edge of the map for sure, but when in Rome, do as the Romans do. And uh, the, the Japanese are setting their friends on fire. Yubari, why you gotta, 
Why you gotta do that to me? There should be a Yubari game that recently went up or is going to go up soon. But I've yet to record it, so maybe it will go up later. Anyhow, we, uh, we're gonna spin those guns around and uh, try and sink the ships. Mainly this Lyoming set it on fire. Well, okay, the, the we, we're losing ships. They just lost a ship. Too many ships are dying, that's for sure. And would you look at that? We have two destroyers kind of coming up this way. This is not ideal. Um, this carrier is focusing me, or this carrier bombing me past turn. Past turn, if you know me from watching, bruh, you should have said, Hey, Panzer, what's up? And then I would have been a little concerned that I would have died of sky cancer. But I'm not concerned to die of sky cancer. Um, that V-170 did get flooding on that ship, and I have sky cancer incoming, which is not good at all. Ishizuki, not known for its anti-aircraft, and considering that there are, well, uh, only, you know, two Hoshos, and they're both level four, I don't exactly expect our carrier to provide the best anti-aircraft support, and this is not good, because we take three torpedoes, but none of them do flooding. I mean, what are the chances of that, that you take three torpedo hits, and none of them cause flooding, and I mean... I don't, I guess the Ishizuki has a good torpedo bulge, or maybe we just got lucky with the numbers. I don't know. What I do know is this V-170 is about to have one hell of a time. I know he has front, tor I think he has front, he has front torpedoes for sure. That's what he's doing. So I'm kind of churning a little bit, I think. Trying to uh, avoid that. Uh, firing the full salvo. He's on fire. So maybe we'll just dodge enough. I don't think we're going to get torpedoed by the V-170, if that matters to anyone. I'm going to turn around, spin the guns around, again, because, well, that's probably what's going to be more useful for dueling this guy. Get those rear three turrets on him. Uno, dos, three, trois, trace, and see a nerd. Go, 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 go. Yes, racist accents galore. Um, but what's good is that we were able to kill him, and that's part of the benefit of using high explosives on battleships. And, you know, being in a battleship that's meant to be using high explosives, such as the Ishizuki or uh, the main line of British battleships, it's all good. What's not good? That salvo. What is maybe good? Is that these torpedo bombers are not dropping over me yet? I really wish we, we did, you know, maybe shoot them a little bit. Um, and, well, he dropped at an angle where I am going to be able to dodge them quite, quite easily. So, uh, get erect, son. And Mr. Wyoming, like, how rude. How rude. Um, CV, do you keep that destroyer spotted? If you can, only thing that can really mess us up. Yes, that is true. Well, and the carrier. Because carriers are sky cancer. As I like to call them. So, yeah. Uh, maybe insult to people who actually have cancer. But, sky cancer is a little difficult. A little difficult to deal with. We are hopefully going to absolutely shellac this wakeful. Um, there we go, the front turrets. And hit the engine. Nope, nothing hit. Okay, rear turrets, fire, and, well, if just any of these hit them, there we go, that's a fire. Look at all those fires. We have eight, we have 20 hits for seven fires. I mean, gotta love this ship. Just, you, you, you gotta love them. It's great. Uh, what's not great, the disappearance of that destroyer, and we, we have more torpedo bombers. So, get that health. Um, hopefully that Wyoming decides, well, hopefully that Wyoming leaves us alone. And the Wakeful, you see, Wakeful is, uh, I think, the Wakeful is a tech tree British destroyer. But whenever you don't play low tiers for a while, and the game, whenever they add new lines, gives you these options to kind of skip ahead and all that, you, you really, really, really just, I forget, I don't know what the low tier ships are called for, you know, the newer lines, like the French battleships, or... 
the British destroyers. But the Wakefuls wanted them, so I see these ships, I'm like, oh, a new premium, and it's like, no, 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 it's not. It, it really isn't. So, um, these are gonna be close, and by close, I mean we're going to take one, maybe two, get behind that one. We got Bismarck, not good. And another one, come on. That really does suck. And, oh look, the shells up the side of a turret syndrome. Great. Oh, don't you just love it when you shoot off to one side? And look at that shot. Disabled something, but it didn't matter. We, we disabled the whole ship. Not just that, whatever. Uh, Boog. Boog, you should use HE. I only have AP. Who's Boog? Bogatier. Bogator. CV shot. ZV, please shoot shot down those bombers before they tort me. Yeah. Uh... Bad grammar there. I didn't really realize it. But I was really frustrated that these torpedo bombers just flew to me, dropped bombs, flew back, and just never had any problem. Like, you see this fighter squadron? That fighter squadron would be really good. And then Headhunter. Headhunter fighting the good fight for me. Why the hell would the carrier pull the fighters off of the torpedo bombers, attack, attackling the enemy? And I'm like, yep. MVP right there. So, we looks like it looks like our team's gonna win we're we're, we're just kind of closing it up we're going to do what we can to the Wyoming and uh, mainly kind of charge into a try and capture it and all of these things and maybe just maybe we'll get revenge against this carrier that would be sweet indeed but um it appears there the Wyoming is already on fire kind of aiming a little higher trying to hit the superstructure and aiming towards different areas of the ship, um, kind of a, a more advanced strat here. If you're a ship that and you're trying to set fires, aim for different parts of the enemy. Uh, well, he's he's gone. But like, if you set the bow on fire, try and aim for the midship and the stern to set those fires. Because if you haven't seen the How It Works videos, basically, you can set two fires in the midship, one bow and one aft, and. If they have like a perk, they can reset to three. But basically, you can set at least one fire in the front, in the middle, and in the back. So, aim at different parts of the ships and do that. And, uh, well, duh, job. Yep, he didn't bother evading torps because he's just way too scared of the Panzernator. People see me, bet, you know, see my ship barreling down towards him, and they just freeze in the presence of clearly the best warships YouTuber that ever sailed the North American server. Uh, blah, 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 he would have broadsided RBB. Well, I am RBB, but I have high explosives loaded. You see, this is where you need to know the game. If I'm that Wyoming, first of all, you gotta be mindful of torpedoes, but the Ishizuki has good HE, so I, you have to play where you assume the enemy players are going to be good at the game. So, um, well, by that I mean at least, you know, knowledgeable to know uh, that the Ichizuki has good HE, so he's probably using HE only, and all of that. We landed some shots, and we're firing some more. Again, it would be just, uh, it would be unfortunate if these, that, well, that killed him. I really, really wanted that kill just to get that sweet, sweet revenge for being torpedoed all game. But it was not meant to be, but what was meant to be... 10 fires on 30 hits. For those of you who are terrible at math, that's one in three shells that hit caused a fire, and that is a fire percentage of 33%. Uh, I don't know what the actual numbers on the Ishizuki is, plus the flags and captain skills and all this nonsense, but uh, only 43,000 damage, but, you know, low tiers and a lot of destroyers. Three kills, all of that, and we even got a capture. Um, top player, hello there. Yes, uh, I'll be signing autographs after the game course and uh damage well we did 43,000 36 of that from the HE shells and 7,000 from the fires so I hope you all enjoyed this replay if you did be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel thank you all so much for watching once again I hope to see you all in the next one and until then this is Mikey Derpanginator signing out see you nerds